let no one judge you in those things which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. Paul says, don't let people judge you by that. That's what he's talking about in the book of Galatians. Do not let people tell you what to do in the new covenant. You are not under law. You are under grace. So all of those things have been annulled. They're annulled. They are obsolete. They are taken away, and we are now in the new covenant. We do not observe Sabbaths. We do not need to be circumcised. We do not need to observe the feasts of the Lord or the other things, the new moons and the other things that he talked about. Okay? That is out. And it's there in black and white. That's the thing that's important to understand is that God's word doesn't change. It's the same word that was delivered at the very beginning. It does not change. It's there in black and white. And if it says that they are done, then they are done. We cannot reinsert those things without causing damage to what God has given us. And it's, in this case, heretical damage because it's changing the gospel. And we cannot change the gospel. Okay, so we're in Galatians 2, verse 5. Um, I'm reading the comments. Let's see here. Um, okay, Sabbath day, holding a feast of the Lord observance, which is the feast, which I just read you, or the festivals, as Paul calls it, or giving up on eating some non-kosher food. That was addressed by Paul there as well. He said uh, food and drink. He was describing the dietary laws of Israel. We are not to be judged by those things. Do not let anybody judge you in what you eat. If you don't want to eat ham because you don't like the taste of ham, good, don't eat ham, all right? I love to eat durian. A lot of people here don't like durian. I think probably everybody in the place doesn't. Maybe Ron would eat it. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I like durian, so I'm going to eat it. If you don't want to eat durian, don't eat it. I got somebody shaking her head because she's been around durian much of her life and she still doesn't eat it. But um, having said that, the same thing is true with ham. If you like ham, eat ham. There's nothing in the Bible that tells you you cannot eat ham, all right? That's the way it is. Paul says, you are not to be judged by what you eat, okay? So, we may do any of these things in our freedom, but if we do them in an attempt to be pleasing to God, then we have fallen from grace. Paul will say that explicitly coming up in a, a verse soon near you. We are under no such restrictions, and to proclaim otherwise is to be considered heresy and worthy of condemnation. That's what he said right there. I'll take you back so you don't think I'm making that up. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. Verse 8, this is 1-8, but even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. It's worthy of condemnation, according to Paul. And then he doesn't just say it once, he says it twice. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. That includes Paul himself, that includes an angel from heaven, or any Judaizer or Hebrew roots movement that shows up at your church and says, you need to be observing the feast of the Lord. If you see that on, you know, if you watch Christian TV and you see that, turn that off and never watch it again. It's heresy. Stay away from that, okay? Um.